Hello, this is 92.8 KROC, The Croc. The Croc. Hi, and thanks for listening. Now it's time for Carlos and Carlos Coffee Corner. As you know, today is 9-11. And here at the station, we have a special tradition of dedicating the show to the memory of those who lost, lost their lives five years ago. All right, now for our first caller, we have, we have Miranda. Hey, Miranda. Hey, uh, I go to NYU, and I was there that morning. Um, could you, like, be more descriptive? Like, what were you doing there? Well, I was on my way to World Trade Center for an interview for an internship when I had to get out of my car due to traffic, and I saw a commercial airline fly straight into the North Tower. Oh, uh, um, well, were you feeling or thinking at the moment? I was really confused and didn't understand what was going on. I think the fact that I was so confused made it even worse. Did, yeah, I mean, that must have been pretty devastating. Did you have any friends or any family that worked at the World Trade Center? Um, yeah, one of my best friends, Ashley, who got me the interview, worked there. She she died that morning. Oh, oh I, I'm sorry for your loss. Thanks. Well, thank you for the call, Miranda. Um, we're going to take another caller. We have Marcos on the air. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Were you near the towers when they blew up? Yes, I actually had the fire for at this time. Oh, wow, thank you for your service. Just doing my job. So, can you tell us what happened? Well, I was at the fire station. We had a call saying the World Trade Center was on fire. We get there, we get in a group, we go to the top of the building. I get down to the fifth floor. I see my brother Gary, who is actually a firefighter at this time. He said, I hear a baby crying. So I said, you better go get it fast. And as I said that, the South Tower collapsed. So I looked at Gary and I said, I'm starting heading down. He said, I'll be right behind you. I get down. I have to look around for Gary just one, just one, just one second. I look around for Gary. I didn't see him. I knew that he was still in the building, and then the door tower collapsed, and I knew I would never see Gary again. Oh, well, wow! Thank you for sharing that tragic story with us. That that was really sad. Um, we're gonna take another caller. We have Crystal on the air. Hey, Crystal. Hey, guys. Hey. You saw a pretty tired long night? Yes, I'm tired. Um, so can you tell us about your experience? Well, I was just talking in the alley with some friends. And I thought Superman was the worst of the to the tower. I was like, yo, why is Superman on fire? So I grabbed my camera and I slowly zoomed into the towers. And I realized it was an airplane. A freaking airplane hit the tower. My heart broke into little pieces and I saw people jump off. That must have been extremely painful to witness. It was. Yeah, definitely. Um, did this impact your life in any way? Yeah, I saw I slowly fell into an addiction to heroin. And I had to go to therapy because I seen those souls fly into the air. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, seriously. Hey! You ate my sandwich. Steve, we are on the air. Go suck a duck here. I don't We're care for there. You ate my so sandwich. Really what, whose name is on that? Steve. My name. Steve. Okay, Steve. Carlos. That's, that's my yeah. sandwich, and you ate. I'm not gonna calm down. I don't care, Karen. I don't care, Karen. I don't care. Carlos, you ate my sandwich. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal. It's not a big deal. Calm, calm down. I'm not gonna calm down until you buy me a new sandwich. Steve, just calm down. Steve. Steve, Carlos, you calm down. You You're gonna buy me a new sandwich, Steve, Carlos. Steve, Steve, and you need to calm down. You are so hot. Don't bother coming into work. Carlos, why did both of you need to go? It's it's ridiculous. He's so unprofessional. All mm -hmm. right. Um, who's the next caller? Uh, it's uh, Randy. He he won't give me his real name, but he's this no. big conspiracy theorist. Sounds pretty interesting. Might get weird. We're uh, listening to him, I guess. But I bring it up. Hello, sorry for that interruption for the commercial break. Um, yeah, we're gonna take uh, more callers. Next up, Joe, when you meet actually Brian from Mexico, I think he's in private. Have you ever heard who she was in any of them? Uh, what? Uh, you guys remember what she said in town number seven? Yeah. Actually, that's when you're playing him. Yeah, tell me. I fire in a steel beam. Do so you like what? actually have a story to tell? With the material in your building, like your desk, your chairs, your office stuff, your stuff, 
If I can only lift up to about 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit, it would take a temperature of 2,750 degrees Fahrenheit to melt steel beams. Now tell me, how does fire get that hot? So what could have melted the steel beams? It must have been a shermite bomb. Uh, a thermite bomb? A shermite bomb. Thermite bomb. Jeffrey, it's time for dinner. Come downstairs. Mom, I'm talking. I'm just phone right now. Who are you talking on the phone to? My friend. Jeffrey, you don't have any friends. I'm talking to Eugene. Jeffrey, we've been over this. Eugene is your grandfather. He doesn't count. He does. Ish. Just give me ten minutes. I'm talking on your phone. I'll give you five. Six and a half. My best offer is five, Jeffrey. Shut up, you fat lord. That's no way to talk to your mother. You're not my mother. Who told you? The guy across the street. You oh, can't trust him. Okay, we're going to take our next caller. Hi. Hello. This is Ben. Who I possess at that? You see, I was on vacation from the Fazal Lodge, and I wanted to see the tin cava. So, you know, I did. And what what happened to you? Well, these there was, you know, taking some pictures of the towers. But then one of them disappeared. At first, I was very confused, very terrified. I, I thought I was going to die. But then, there, amongst <coughs> the falling rubble, was a dead body. I was able to feel something. Something I've never felt before. Something I've never felt again. Something that I believe to be the purest. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's all. Um, yeah, that's um, all the time we have. I, yeah. yeah I think, nope. And yep, we're done. We're gonna, uh, that's all the time we have for today. Cause, yeah. Um. So that's, now we just have time to reflect on what this day really means for the American people. Uh. That's the end of our show. I am Carlo Danielson. And I'm Carly McCoy from 92.8 The Clock. Thanks for listening.